Hi guys, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot and today we are sharing a Celtic Rock reading for Joe. So um, this is what I've got for you. I appreciate um, the situation and appreciate your willingness to share it. And we're going we're to see what the cards have for you. You're wondering about the new place that you're in, how do you fit in, how do you move things forward, and where's your tribe? So we're going to take a look at what the cards have for you, see if they can have a little bit of insight to help you along the way. So Joe, this is for you. Okay, in the position of you and your challenge, what's going on is you have the Horned God, which some people view um, as the devil energy. In this deck, the Horned God is in four, the Emperor, King of the Forest, very masculine energy. In reverse, it's been, it's been um, a tough time for you, but you've wanted to move forward. You haven't felt like you've been established or can get any kind of order in your new situation. Things have been delayed, things have been lost, things have been misplaced or not arrived at all. It's been aggravating for you. And you want to just have mastery of your own home environment, your own rules, and have structure in your situation working well. And that's been upside down for a while for you. I would say breathe on this one, okay? This one comes up in reverse. So just so you know, there's been a struggle with that. The next challenge is the King of Pentacles. You feel like everything's adding up to money that you didn't plan for in expenses. You have the money. It's there. The challenge is there. It's just not going to where you thought it would go to. It's not that you've been unwise, Joe. It's, it's just sometimes there's curveballs. Sometimes there's things that are unexpected. You're doing well with the resources. Your plans are solid. Have the faith. Keep moving forward. Take care of things on the home front and realize what the value is to you. Some things you have to let go of. Okay. Yeah, it's been hard. <laughs> Below you in the foundation of the reading is the reverse two of wands. Feeling like you're never going to get a handle on this. You're completely overwhelmed, overburdened, and you just don't have the strength to move forward. You finally arrived at the new place, and it's like, oh, crap. Now what's going to happen? It's been that kind of a year for a lot of us. So, Joe, you're not on this on your own. Like, in the imagery, you see that there's, there's people nearby. There's creatures nearby. There's help, and it's not that much further. So really do hang in there. It might feel like the last stand right now, but really, you're going to do all right with this. It's okay. So that's the foundation. At the top crowning is the star. The star is all about healing, all about second chances, all about when you're tired, you're worn, and you need to get to the healing waters, tuning into your intuition, trusting that you know what your plan is, trusting your own instinct, trusting your gut, knowing that things will heal and move forward in their own timing. That there's blessings for you and it's a lucky time for you use your intuition well okay in the past the three of wands a desire to expand waiting 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 you finally took some action and shifted things geographically the ship is the merchant's ship and it looks like um it's just arrived in port the boxes are being unloaded things are coming your boxes will be arriving. They will get there eventually. The important stuff will get to you, okay? Yeah, you've been waiting. The movers did you wrong. Sorry. Okay, next. Um, on the future, in moving forward, hang in there. Have hope. Have faith. Then you have the King of Cups. The King of Chalices. Emotional month. The King of Cups upright is all about being able to feel balanced emotionally during turbulent times and it's just like uh tornado season hurricane season uh literally for a lot of us actually but it's like trying to surf in that kind of weather or just trying to go for a walk and then having an ocean thrown in your face not just a brain drop or two but <laughs> blam so you've had that but here's this king here and the trick is just learning to balance those emotions out. There's going to be a lot. There's going to be plentiful stuff. Your, your things are going to be there. You're going to be provided for. Again, there's a sign of industrious work, 
a little busy bee there to help offering good things bees are always good luck there will be abundance in the harvest and on your table soon you're you're on the right path it's challenging right now for you Joe, but it's it's getting better it's getting better so all right next out right now you feel like you're at ace of wands stage where you want to start something new this is such a funny one because the way i viewed it was kind of like this and it's almost like a bird flying in through that windstorm that hurricane they're talking about like bah! yeah that that's probably how you're feeling when you really want to focus your creativity you want to focus your energy your passion projects your career your work you want to focus on that and you feel like bah! just try and focus try and settle down the, the passion the desire you have to move forward the first fruits are there it's going to be there it's going to be there you're working on it you're doing what you can you are being focused you're on the right track nine of wands <laughs> ten of wands is overwhelmed overwhelmed and almost there nine of wands is that last stand moment and in this depiction it doesn't show so much the overburdening of the wands or the standing defending it's almost like it's almost like you're guarding your food at the table <laughs> guarding your stuff you don't want anything taken you're like yeah it's kind of like that and it's also having to choose which pieces to take with you choosing what you're going to carry forward right that's what you had to do and it's felt like where's your shit where's your stuff yeah it's all here it's all here the nine ones are here and it's not even so much about the last stand you're strong you stood strong you have plenty of options what you need is with you the inspiration the magic the tools all of that is with you then you have the witch as the number one which is usually the magician all of the magic all of the tools all of what you need is with you this is how you move forward you recognize the gifts that you've been given as far as your talents your skills and how you've developed so far and you just keep moving forward you've got it you've got it all of the things that you would need all of the important stuff will get to you what doesn't get to you if it's important you can replace but all of the important stuff that you really really need you're carrying with you anyway you're carrying it here and here yeah you've got this you've got this okay and then the possible outcome is the six of swords there might be more travel yet to happen for you you are on this journey this is the brand new part of the journey right trying to get things established and settle down you're at the four stage you you have some structure in this job in this project that you're working on you might be traveling a little bit more there might be more journeys to go Let's clarify a little bit more. Let's do that. You know what, we're gonna take this one. The Llewellyn deck. Page of Wands. You have a lot of fiery energy. This is that fiery new start. That's where you're at. You've got the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands. Don't stay stuck in inaction. Take your take your moment to breathe but don't take, stay stuck there you you've got help there it's not just you on your own okay don't focus so much on your own and on battling that you fight your tribe back and they don't want to come over to your place gotcha okay ace of wands again so you have ace of wands and ace of wands and page of wands page of wands is you've got nine ten page right page of wands is new new endeavors you're calling you have enthusiasm fire burning like literally you're on fire about what you want to do don't out stubborn yourself just because it's a little bit of a bumpy start this new place is going to be really good for you work-wise it should be very good for you and it might not even be like the world's most lucrative thing, but it's the thing that fuels your fire. It gets you revved up. You're excited about it. Okay.
<laughs> okay, the magician, which is number one. The witch, which is number one. We covered that. Along with the universe, completion of something. This this magic that you think you need to know more, need to know more. You got it. You got it. The universe is blessing you. I mean, what was complete and needed to close out was complete. Okay? All right. And then about this possible outcome of moving forward, I think that there might be travel for you. But let's just see if there's anything else I can share with you on that one. Okay? Ooh. Justice and the hanged man. All right. Hangman in reverse. Don't be so stuck on this notion of sacrifice, self-sacrifice. Change your perspective. Justice. Things will come into balance. If things that aren't arriving as they should have arrived are troubling you, let justice do her job. Things will come into balance. I don't know, just a little bit more. I think that's more to do with this star energy what you feel like you need to heal from let's just look a little more maybe five of swords the priestess whatever you left in that old situation really was shitty toxic bully bad energy bad don't don't spend life any time putting it in nostalgia or wondering if you've made the better move no 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 trust your intuition on this trust your instinct on this you were you were right you were right to do what you did leave that behind this is a journey of the nine of pentacles independence luxury things are coming along your way the queen of pentacles the knight of wands again charging forward the star i mean really three of cups oh my gosh Eight of Pentacles, Strength, the Horned One, you came out here, we talked about the Horned One being the Devil in some decks, is really Green Man and being aware of your own stuff in the Four of Swords, Need for Rest. We're going to leave it at that. Um, I really would say, Joe, things are going to be okay. You've got your stuff, it's on its way, what you really need you have, you've had to replace some things, the move has been a little bit rough, but you've got this and you're on the right track. You are on the right track. There is community that wants to celebrate with you. There is progress happening. You're on this journey, and although you've arrived physically where you're at, you're still journeying in making new connections, um, new friends, finding your tribe in this new place that you're at, okay? So don't question your choices. No, you made the smart choice on that one, getting out of there. All this fire energy, I mean, it's just like strike a match and pfft, you're taking off. Not blowing up, but taking off in the way you should. Following that passion big time. This is a good time for you, Joe. All right, that's what I've got for you. Thanks for letting me share this with others. Take care.